hey YouTube, it's Fabulous Red. I know I haven't been vlogging a lot, but it's been like a busy weekend. I got like caught behind on my college work. Like college is like a roller coaster for me. It's like one minute I'm doing good and the next minute I'm doing bad. But today is not gonna be a vlog because I know this channel, I changed my name from um, vlogging with the Fabulous Red to vlogs by Fabulous Red because I'm just gonna make this a vlogging channel until like I, I get a camera because I'm still procrastinating on getting me a camera. So I'm, I'm recording on my phone right now. But today I wanna talk about, I can't came out the closet to my dad yesterday and as you can see I'm not in my house I, I ended up packing my stuff and I, I'm living with my auntie right now so basically it went like this yesterday morning I was make, making up my bed and my dad walked in he was like oh Darrell you have you know cousins from New Orleans that's coming home tomorrow which day is tomorrow basically so then he was like and your cousin he's gay and he's married and he has a husband so um me I, I thought he I already knew I'm gay because obviously I act like I'm gay and obviously he watched my YouTube videos like what heterosexual boy do you know with the name of Fabulous Rail so boom but anyways so um I started laughing and then he got upset and he was like oh you shouldn't judge people for it they like you know people have the right to live what they look so I'm like okay I see he like he supports gay people I'm just saying that like he support the LGBT so I'm like okay this is my perfect time like you know to come out because I'm like I'm not sure if he know but maybe he just want me to confirm it so I'm like you know that I'm gay myself and so then his whole demeanor changed I wasn't laughing at them because you know they married and gay because I'm gay myself obviously I was laughing because just like dad don't you know I'm gay and you telling me not to judge me? And it's just like, that's goofy. So anyways, his demeanor changed again. He was just like, oh, Duran, you know, it's not good to be gay, you know, that's not, I feel like society these days has influenced you to be gay. I've been knowing you for 18 years, you're not gay. And I'm just like, Dad, I am gay. So it's like, okay, what? What happened what you were just saying a few minutes ago about don't judge people and people were allowed to love what they love, but yet you saying that you don't believe I'm getting and that it's not right. So it's like, it's like you're being hypocritical. So I'm like, okay. I'm really proud of, my, of myself because I didn't cry. I didn't get mad. I didn't um, show no emotion. I mean, like deep down inside, it did kind of hurt because it's like, dang, you don't support me, but whatever. Like when I first came out to my mom, which I'm gonna make a video about that later, she felt the same way. But now over the course of years, cause I told her in middle school, but you know, I'm in college now. But sorry, like, she got over it. Like it's like, I'm gay and it's just like, I'm not gonna change. So back to my dad so he was just saying oh, he doesn't believe that i'm gay and whatnot and i didn't want to just come out and say dad i've had sex with other guys but i was just like dad i know i'm gay i know i'm gay and then he was just like how you know and i'm just like i just know so he was like you like guys and i was like yeah i like guys he was just like Dre, i don't believe and then he just walked out the room so i'm like okay whatever like he just got to get used to it <clears throat> so yeah so throughout the day yesterday like he was being shady and it got to be too much for me, so that's why I'm at my aunt's house right now. This is not my room. This is my cousin room. So, yeah, it's really nice in here. It's like a, a modern-day YouTuber room. Because, you know, when most YouTubers, they have, like, little cute rooms like this. But, yeah. Get back on the bed. So, yeah, I really um, appreciate my auntie for picking me up and uh, hearing me out and uh, letting me come and stay over here because I know she really didn't have to. But she's been really supportive um, of me being in college and the financial aid, BS, and ASU, and then other stuff. But I'm going to talk about that in other videos. So, yeah. But back, but back to my dad. So... It'd be like little stuff. Like I'd be like, oh dad, can you like pass me this today? Like he'll just like get mad and like throw it at me. And then I'm just like, okay. So I like I let that slide. And then like normally when we run low on snacks and drinks, I'd be like, oh dad, you know we're running low, so um we need to go to the store and go buy some more. And then like he'll get mad and like he'll just like ignore me. And then I just try to make a general conversation with him because like my friends are just like, oh you know, just talk to him, give him time and whatnot. And then I was doing that, but he was still like ignoring me, like giving me short answers, mugging me, like turning his nose up at me and stuff. And then he would be like slamming stuff like to show that he was upset. I'm just like, you know what? This is just beginning to be too much. Like, I understand. Um, I just came out of nowhere and told you this out of 18 years. I should have been told him like I said. But majority of my friends were just like, you know what? Just wait till you're financially stable. But I really thought that was a good time to tell him. But it wasn't. So... I guess I just be at my, well, I texted him, I told him I was gonna be staying at my auntie for um, a few days. And he just like, okay, cool, but he don't know the real reason why I'm staying, but when he see that some of my stuff um, is gone, then maybe he'll just like know that um, the rail gone. 
that's my real name, Darrell. But anyway, he just like, he'll know that I'm gone because majority of my stuff gone. Like, I got the snacks that he did buy. I bought the drinks that he did buy. I got my pictures. I got majority of my clothes. I got all the suitcases in the house. Like, y'all, let me show you all the bags I took. So, this is one bag. This is my book bag. And I got some clothes and stuff. These are um these suitcases. Well, these not suitcases. These are bags. They're one suitcase. And these are other bags. So y'all, my initial um plan was to walk, and my auntie she stayed like um, at least fifteen minutes away. So just imagine me walking um fifteen minutes with all those bags. I probably would have been on um, fainted by the time I got halfway down the street from my house, my dad's house. So yeah, I just want to say to all the parents out there, like just please be supportive of your children that come out because it makes us like it, it's already killing us to have to tell you and keep that a secret from y'all. But it's like when we like finally get the courage to tell y'all and um hope that y'all support us and y'all not like it's, it makes us feel devastated. Like with me, no, I stayed with my grandparents and my grandparents. I don't know if they know them yet. They probably gonna know today because the word y'all. You know how your family talks so much in the word. I got around the family that I done left my dad's house, so I'm at my aunt's house again. Oh, sorry, y'all. My phone went dead. But yeah, as I said, yeah, work. I got around the family that I left my dad's house and I'm staying at my auntie's house. So, of course, people gonna have to ask me why. And I can't just make up a lie because I'm not good at lying. So, might as well come out and tell the truth. Which I think they probably already know. They just want me to say it myself. But yeah, as growing up, I stayed at my grandparents. But it's like, I seen the way they treat treated and acted toward like people i want to say necessarily gay but I just, I just know how like mean and small minded and super minded they are so i'm just like you know what let me go to my dad's house because like he doesn't really judge people and like he's very, very cool laid like, back and i feel like i could be myself around him but obviously i was wrong because you know the situation that that happened yesterday with me coming out of the closet to him so that was a whole disaster i was just telling my friends like y'all Y'all don't understand, I was so suicidal and so upset yesterday because I was just overthinking it. Like, I, it, like my dad was ignoring me, you know, turning his nose up. It's just like, that's just a little petty stuff. Like, I could have dealt on that, but it was just like me overthinking it, which pushed me to my breaking point. So, yeah, I was, y'all, so I had on pajamas all day yesterday, but I had decided to, like, put on, like, some little clothes. Like, look what I got on there. I just got on, like, a little jogging pants and, like, a little ugly t-shirt. Let me show you the t-shirt I got on. Like, just like a little plain t-shirt and like, you know, my hat. So, yeah, I just threw on some clothes because I was really planning on doing suicide yesterday. Like, I don't encourage suicide. Like, I feel like it's a better way um, to handle things rather than do suicide. Hey, so, speaking of the devil, I just got off the phone with my dad. That's why the last video got interrupted. The last section of that, what I was just saying, got interrupted. So, yeah, um, what he was saying was, because like I said, like I said, the word got around that I left his house. I'm at my aunt's house, so it got back to him. And then he called me and asked me what's going on. Like, he felt he was, um, that was just his opinion. Like, he didn't want to feel like he was forcing me to leave. But me, it's just like the way he was, like, treating that and his actions toward me, I, I felt like I needed to leave. But he was like, if he would have got upset, he would have just told me right then and there to get the fuck out. But he was like, he didn't say that. So, that meaning he really didn't care. He was like, um. Um, cause, like, my dad, he the type of person that, that kind of got to make stuff about him. Like, no shade or offense to him. But, yeah. So, he was just saying, like, oh, because, like, last, like, year, he was kind of kind of sick. Like, he had, like, a type of liver disease. So, like, he just always brings that up every time, like, me and him get into an argument. Like, oh, Dure, I could have died. I could have this and that. Like, I was supposed to have been dead. You probably would have been up. forgot about me by now. Which is like, okay, dad, just stop. Calm down. So, yeah, but back to what I was saying, like, yeah, I had really planned on doing suicide. I was just thinking, okay, let me just throw on some clothes and just go outside, stand, like, by the street and just, you know, kind of just jump in front of a car. But I, like, I was just thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm just like, how would it affect my friends? Because I had posted on my Insta, um, Insta story on Instagram, which I know it's not good to post your business, but at that moment, I just wasn't thinking straight. So I was just saying, it was just like, oh, yeah, I just came out of the closet to my dad and um, it didn't go good and everybody like even people i didn't know was like um dming me like ask me am i okay it's gonna be okay like just give them some time and i really felt appreciated so i'm just like you know what i'm not gonna even do suicide i'm just gonna just get my stuff and leave so like okay y'all a little bad story the reason i be with my dad all the time and i kind of don't 
call and check up on my, my any anybody else in my other family because it's just like I felt like they was gonna judge me and not be supportive because I know how supportive my dad is and he said himself that he even got gay friends. So I thought like, okay I could be myself around him and then all this happened. So it's just like that was kind of you know confusing to me. So I mean yeah that's what's been going on with me you know for these last couple of weeks and I guess you could say this is my little coming out story to my dad. But I don't know what I'm gonna make the title of this video. Oh yeah, also y'all, I just I also got out the phone with my mom and I explained to her what happened. She was just like, oh, I'm so sorry that that happened. He just gotta get used to um, it because that's probably new to him and all that other stuff. I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. But like, the worst person who I'm afraid to tell what's going on is my granddaddy. Because my granddad, he's like a deacon, so I'm just like, oh, I think hopefully he doesn't, um, you know, yell or fuss and all that. So I'm just like, oh, whatever. So yeah, homecoming is this week for Auburn State University, and I have, because I'm going to a concert, and I'm also going to hang out with my um, friend, you know, my friends from my last videos. I'm not even going to detail about that, because I'm too tired right now. So yeah, like, um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you new, hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Darrell, aka Fabulous Rail. And I'm so sorry. I'm not a depressed person. I'm actually fun down to earth. I'm just chill for most of the part of the time. And just like all this crazy stuff been happening to me. So, alright, be on the lookout for some vlogs this weekend. And I will see y'all in the next video.